on everyone welcome back to the channel and if you're new here to GQR go ahead and hit that subscribe button we do gentlemen's product review style and fitness here so if you're about that go ahead and hit that button right down there welcome everyone so today we have a pomade review and um, I was actually walking around Walmart and I was very surprised to see this pomade it is the Johnny Chop Shop pomade and um, if some of you guys are familiar with Johnny Chop Shop they're actually a company a barbershop out of the UK and they sell hair products and they also do they're really big in the UK and I heard of them a while back so I was walking through Walmart and very surprised to see their products there so I'm gonna go ahead and take you guys on a little trip and let's go ahead and check that out real quick all right everybody so we're here at Walmart and um, as you can see they got the Johnny Chop Shop like thing right here set up which is pretty cool they got the shampoo the grooming cream the gel and the pomade the paste fiber and then a hair clay but uh, we're gonna go ahead and just take the pomade check that out but man check this out this seen better days Woo. all right guys let's go back to the spot and uh, check this out all right everyone now that we're back from a Walmart trip so yeah there you go as you can see their whole almost their whole line of products is at Walmart and I was very surprised because when I um, heard of Johnny Ch um, Johnny chop shop my bad I actually had um, seen them on Instagram they're only UK Basically, you can only get the products online and they're UK based only. So you had to pay for the shipping and it was just going to be more here for us in the United States. Just a lot more than what, you know, the product was worth. So I was very, very surprised. So as soon as I seen it, I was like, man, we got to get the pomade and we got to check it out. So we're going to go ahead and check out this pomade to see how good it is. And just like anything on this channel, it's going to be going over five things. It's going to be going over the packaging, the scent, the texture, the application, and then my overall verdict on the pomade so let's go ahead and get right into this and get right into the packaging all right everyone let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging so as you can see it is an all metal aluminum tin all the way around and this is a real light tin um probably the lightest tin i've ever felt it feels like it's made out of like what a soda can is made out of and um but it's actually pretty cool i like it it says right there johnny sheen hair pomade and then the johnny chop shop barbers logo on there 2.64 ounces of product in there strong and slick hold and it's a uh, pretty nice all the way around everything um there's no stickering it's actually in the i want to say in the tin so that's pretty nice it's a uh, i guess pressed on there so that's pretty cool and then on the back we have the instructions of the directions and ingredients it's pretty nice so pretty simplistic but i definitely like the little color scheme the little star and everything so um the design's actually pretty nice nice light tin i definitely like it Alright everyone, so now they went ahead and take a look at the packaging. Let's go ahead and check out the scent. So let's go ahead and open this up. And it has a very light smell. It smells very watery. And it just has like an old school barbershop cologne scent. It almost smells a little bit like an axe. I want to say it smells like axe a little bit. But not that much. But it just has a nice clean barbershop scent. It's, the scent's okay. It's not that bad. Alright everyone, let's go ahead and take a look at the texture. So let's go ahead and open this up. And as you can see, it is completely clear. It is super clear. Just like a gel tape water base. And um, it's really spongy. And when you first get in there, it is a little hard. You gotta put a little press, but it actually comes out pretty simple. And as you can tell, it's just that same water base gel type. And it's real jello-y and um, I wanna say sticky. But once you get it on there, it just breaks up super easy. Very, very nice. Breaks up real at ease. So definitely like the breakup. As you can see, it goes completely invisible. Really, really nice. Um, there's hardly any thickness to it once you break it up. So breaks up really, really nice. I definitely like it. All right, everyone. Let's go ahead and get into the application. So let's go ahead and open this up. And let's take around the dime size right there. And let's get it in. And it just breaks up super smooth. It says it's a strong hold, but I mean, this breaks up real easily. It has just a little bit of a grip and my hair is dry. So it, it is going pretty smooth. It feels just by touching it, it feels like a medium hold to me with the experience that I have with um, water based gel type pomades. Dan says right there. And it definitely feels like it's going to be a medium hold, but we're going to find out right now. Mustify. It's clear. Yeah. Let's get it in and it's going in pretty smooth all right now i'm starting to feel the hole just a little bit not too too much but it does glide in really really smooth let's get one more right there 
get our multiplication going side to side and let's see eh, see almost like that medium hold if it was a really strong hold like it says on the can it would have just spiked it up but it glides in real smooth with the comb and it combs pretty well not bad it actually feels pretty nice it does have a decent shine to it and it glides in really well so let's just go with the regular comb over right now and it's not bad so the application is actually pretty good not not bad so definitely dug the application it was pretty good I liked it All right everyone let's go ahead and check out the final style So let's go ahead and give this my overall verdict. So from 1 being the least and 5 being the best, um, I want to give this a 3.5. I thought it was okay for um, what seems to be now a Walmart product. Um, it was alright. I mean, it wasn't bad. It wasn't amazing. It was like right dead in the middle. Um, it's definitely not a strong hold like it says on the can. It has definitely anywhere from a medium to light hold. This is a good pomade for like if you're looking for a slick back, it does have a good amount of shine or you're looking for a side part or a very small pomp. Um, this is definitely not like where you can just bust out a rockabilly pompadour or anything like that. It doesn't have that kind of hold and that kind of strength. So if you're looking for something like medium to light, it's actually a pretty okay pomade. I mean the pomade only costs $10 which is the best part about it. It has a nice packaging. I like the tin and the scent's okay. So it was alright. I mean basically if you go to walmart this is probably going to be one of the better pomades there so definitely i mean doesn't really have a lot of competition there but it is a better pomade um it does have the ingredients are okay it's got some jojoba oil in there and um some caffeine in here so it does have a couple good ingredients in here for your hair so it's not completely bad like i said for 10 bucks i mean honestly you can't beat it it's actually pretty good almost three ounces so it's not that bad if you're at Walmart, go ahead and check it out, pick it up. It's a good backup pomade, throw it in your gym bag or have it in your car. So it's all right, definitely not bad. Um, it's an okay product. So that's what I thought about that, everybody. So everyone, this concludes our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Definitely enjoyed making it for you guys. Um, if you wanna get a hold of this product, I'll go ahead and put a link below or you can just find it at your local Walmart now. But everybody, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, on Instagram, and I'll see you here next time in GQR Style and Fitness.